Have you ever thought about how much power you have over others? Quite often when we hear about power over others, we think of a control freak or someone who's trying to be heavy handed. That's actually not very effective power because it only works temporarily as long as you're using fear or holding the hammer over their heads. The real power is when you can empower others through encouragement. Give them courage, energizing them and lifting them up. These all are a result of positive emotions that have amazing power to motivate and inspire others to overcome obstacles and achieve greater successes. The idea of connecting at a heart level is to bring a sense of worth and value to others. This concept is so powerful because it meets our deepest needs. We all want to be accepted, valued, understood, cared about, and know that what we're doing is making a difference not only for ourselves, but for something greater than ourselves. When leaders affirm, encourage, listen to, and accept their followers, it stirs their hearts and stimulates the endorphins in their brains. It meets some of our deepest and strongest human needs. Connecting with the heart results in inspired and energized people who are much more likely to be productive and innovative. Now, as you might expect, heart connections make for higher morale and a better workplace, bringing higher employee engagement, greater retention of good producers. And you know, the surveys on employment engagement consistently show that the most engaged workplaces are characterized by some highly positive responses to the following conditions. One, my manager affirms my work. Two, my leader cares about me. Three, my opinion counts at work. Four, someone notices my work. Five, someone encourages my development. And six, my leader listens to my ideas. This idea of connecting with the heart represents a sharp departure from the mindset of managers throughout most of history who regarded work as a transaction. You work hard, I pay you. In the past, it was often the practice of managers to walk around trying to catch people doing something wrong, creating a gotcha environment. Leaders will always need to pay attention and correct things back on track as needed, but that needs to be more the exception than the rule. The best leaders know that inspiration comes when they catch people doing something right or good, and especially performing better than they have in the past. So what about you? Are you coaching yourself to connect with the hearts of others? If not, you're missing a great opportunity to grow to a higher level of influence and take your people with you. So be courageous. Develop a plan to connect with the heart and follow through. You'll be glad you did, and your people even more so.